The purpose of this session is to focus on Google Keyword Tool and what I want to do is focus on how you can use it in order to generate ideas that relate to writing such as trying to write an article. To get started the first thing I've done is I've gone to google.com and I'm going to click in this section and I'm going to type in Google Keyword Planner. When this particular information shows up on the screen, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click it. At this point, I notice that it says to sign in to AdWords, and what I'm going to do is click. Now that it's in the process of signing in, I'm going to wait till we come to our first screen. First off, we should notice that this first screen should begin with Keyword Planner, plan your next search campaign. If you do not see this on your screen, please make sure that you go and you click on Tools and select Keyword Planner. By doing that, it will automatically bring you back to the position that I was just looking at. To get started, I'm going to keep this really simple. The first thing I'm going to do in order to generate some ideas about what I want to write about is to focus on this area that says what would you like to do. In this instance I would like to search for a new keyword and so I'm going to click on this group. In this area immediately under where it says enter one or more of the following it asks you for your product or service and it gives you some examples of what you might like to type in such as flowers or used cars. In my case I'm going to click. Here, all I'm going to do is keep everything really simple by clicking in this area. And my goal here is to make sure that I type in somewhere between either one keyword to represent what I want to talk about or no more than approximately three keywords. And the reason for that is because typically you can get more information on your topic if you can narrow the number of keywords that you would like to use. In this case, I'm going to start out with the keywords Epsom salt. So if I'm interested in writing about Epsom salt, I would type that information in. To get started, all I would do is scroll down, and I'm going to keep all the other defaults that show up on the screen, and I'm going to move down until I see this blue button that says Get Ideas. So I'm going to click Get Ideas, and at this point I can see that the screen is loading. The nice thing about what I'm looking at is that based on the keywords that I entered, I can see the search volume trend for approximately a year. You can notice here that this goes back to December of 2013 all the way up to November of 2014. And what it's doing is it's calculating the number of average searches that individuals have done on Google in relation to keywords in terms of the questions that they wanted to ask that search engine. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I'm just trying to generate some ideas that I can write articles about based on the keywords. So when I look at this, I'm going to click on sort by average monthly searches because I want to see what keywords were actually searched for the most. And what I noticed is in this particular area, um, looking at the top, I can see that Epsom salt as a general category had approximately 74,000 searches. And then, of course, if I want to see the breakdown for each of those searches, I can click on that particular category. And at this point, I can see the average number of monthly searches done on specific keywords and or keyword phrases that users typed in. What I really like about this is when I drill back up, let's say I go back up one level. If I go back up one level, and I take a look at Epsom salt, I can hover over the keyword column and I can see that people search for Epsom salts, what is Epsom salt, Epsom salt ingredients. And this gives me a general idea of topics that I can write about that I may not have thought about before. Furthermore, as I move down a little bit further, I'll notice that there are some topics that were searched for such as Epsom salt baths, the plural form, Epsom salt baths, uh, being plural, and I can see that some people look for bathing in Epsom salt. So it gives me an idea of articles that I can write about and what I can talk about in terms of content. But if I wanted to take a look 
at specific phrases without hovering over the keyword column, what I recommend here is to just click on Epsom salt and then just start looking to see what kind of ideas could you get, what kind of topics could you actually search for based on the terms that are showing up in this area. Furthermore, you'll notice that I'm only looking at 15 results and so I can actually download the keyword list by going up one more level and if I stayed on this screen what I could really do is click download to download the ideas that have been shown to me. In this particular instance I can also segment statistics by month if I desired download this information also into an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on download just to give you an idea of what this is going to look like and I can see how many groups of keywords there were and I can also see keywords as a whole so I'm going to click on save file and in this instance when it actually comes up on the screen I'm going to put it on the desktop I can give it a particular name such as Epsom salt so I'll know what kind of topic I was researching and save and when this comes up I'm going to click on Epsom salt and when this shows up it puts it in an Excel spreadsheet all I'm going to do is click on this area so I can select the entire sheet and because I want to see the whole column I'm just going to put my mouse on this line between A and B and double click and this way I can see each column fully and by looking at it in this manner I can now get some ideas about what I might want to talk about as it relates to Epsom salts and another good thing is I can determine what articles I desire to discuss.